Okay, continuing on from our last tutorial. So here we have a uh, video file inside the folder. And what we did was we did uh, ffmpeg-i in the previous tutorial, adding in a, so our input file there. And then uh, we went um, video uh, percent d dot jpeg. And we hit enter there. And now it's taking our video file and exporting each individual frame into its own little JPEG file there. And what we're going to do in today's tutorial is take all those still images and put them back into a video file, which is pretty simple. It's pretty much a flip-flop of what we have done already uh, just now. So it should be done. There we go. If we list out, we have a bunch of JPEG files. Uh, we can look at them here. And we can click through them one at a time. We have 315 of them, so I'm just clicking through each frame. So I'll close that. What we're going to do now is we're going to say ffmpeg. Yeah, actually, let me clear the screen here. ffmpeg dash i for input file, and we're going to do video percent d dot jpeg. And then we'll say the output file, we'll just say 1.avi. Now I'm not giving it any parameters as far as codec, uh, codecs or, or for audio or video or anything like that. So it's going to be not be the highest quality. Obviously, um, putting in that information and not just using the default settings, you're going to get a higher quality video. But just to give you the basic idea here, um, we're taking all those still images, 315 of them. We're on frame. 158 now and um, put them into an AVI file. Once again, it's going to be a lot lower quality than the original file. One, we converted it to a JPEG, which is a compressed format, so we lost some quality there. Um, but then uh, also we're compressing it into an AVI that's a lot more compressed than the original MOV file just because of the settings. Uh, we're using the default settings. So uh, here we go. We've got right here one dot AVI. I'll double click that and drag it in the shot here. And there we go. Not horrible quality, but definitely nowhere near the quality that it was originally in the MOV file. But if you had a bunch of still images, that is how you can compress them into an FFmpeg or into a video using FFmpeg. Once again, you would want to give it parameters as far as what video codecs you are using and um, and like bitrate and stuff like that to get a higher quality video. But I hope you found this use useful. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.